hi guys uh, i would like to demonstrate you a very short process about a task that i am working right now a different migration approach for that i have two servers one is zimra and another one is carbonio and let me open them in the command line and by zimra this one is and this one is carbonio so, okay let me rename it zimra okay this one is Carbonio CE. Okay, so this is Zimbra so it goes to CD domain is Zimbra. Let me just restart them restart and also written control restart okay let me split this split them so that we can easily understand them okay in my zimna server the ip of my zimna server is as you can see 152 in my zimna server there is a user there are several users uh, i will pick a particular user and oh, the service is starting so i cannot log in into my web interface so just we have to wait a bit so meanwhile let, tell, let me tell you the concept the concept is in this Zimra server, I have created several accounts and I have uh, generated some test mails in those accounts. In IMAP sync trans uh, migration, I can only migrate email data from Zimra to Carbonio. But in this method, we are going to migrate something more that I am going to demonstrate you. So let's just wait let me open my notepad <coughs> and in this one one nine two dot one six eight one dot one nine two okay this is carbonio this is zimna server one five two and this is carbonio one nine two Let me check my RAM. My CPU is hundred percent full because okay, the recording software I'm using as well as the VMware. Okay, so the things will be pretty slow. Okay, that's okay. So my Zimra server is almost ready. There, my Zimra server is almost ready. 
create this one. HTTPS one nine two one five two my Zimna server sign out okay Arman one four three four five six so oh arman doesn't have any email false push and barrel spam one two three four five six okay as you can see the flamenia user in zimmer server has 30 uh, 30 uh, emails and let me create some folder uh, excel excel r as you can see the pixel art and let me create let me create another folder that is sorty uh, color green okay and let me move some of this some of this emails there so this is a test environment so a zimna user can have multiple can have multiple uh, custom folders as well as many emails so the purpose of uh, this demonstration is to migrate all the data of email and as well as the contacts and the calendars right now there are no contacts let me create some contact arman save new contact Shorif save new contact irene save so there are three contacts and now then there is the calendar so this calendar um, me, meeting with stefania i'm not giving any other details okay okay cancel what happened to this delete yes maybe i have created multiple of cancel okay then create another test one okay then another test two okay then another test three okay so what this user has emails some contacts some calendars i can also create no i cannot create distribution list so okay that's it and the task briefcase uh they are not relevant but uh, let's check i task task one okay so i am i need to migrate all of this data to carbonio to this carbonio server https Log. 
Sanya 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, sorry. By the way, let me tell you something that Flaminia, I'm using Flaminia and the password, the, it is not accepting the password because in this server, there is a domain that is called example.com. That is the default domain. The user of default domain can log in into their account using just the username. But for all other domains, they have to put the full email address. Test domain1.com. So this is the thing. Right now you can see the inbox is fresh. So we we are going to start the migration. For the migration, let no sorry. Sorry. Okay. For the migration, what I have to do is I am on the Zimna server. I have to extract all the data from the Zimna server. Extract all the data from the Zimna server. To extract the data from the Zimna server, what I am going to do is I I executed the command but let me check if that exists or not no that doesn't exist so I have to write it down again okay not this one window just give me a minute I have noted down the command in my notepad, but cannot find it now. Okay. So, the command I am going to use is. This one now I'm going to replace something that the mailbox is flaminia at the red test domain one dot com I'm going to copy it it will collect all the data and keep it in a file as tzz format and i want to keep this file in the same directory then it will echo this one okay i have executed the command and let's wait yeah the process is finished ls minus ll uh temp Laminia, you can see this is the file. Now I am going to transfer this file them to the Carbonio server so that I can upload it there. Torif um, at the rate one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot my Carbonio server IP one nine two two colon slash tem. Uh, yes you yes as you can see the file has been transferred let's go back to the carbonium server cd tem okay ls minus ll flaminia yeah you can see the file is there but before starting the uploading process i need to do something that the file is owned by Sharif and it is under the group of Sharif. So I need to change the ownership because the file will be used by the Zextras user or the Zextras process. To do that, I will do ch ownership Zextras Zextras. Sorry, 
डेक्सट्रास फ्रेम फ्लैमिनिया ओके सो डेक्सट्रास I have to give the absolute path. Okay. Now this file is owned by Jextras and is under the group of Jextras. Now what I am going to do is I am going to upload it to upload it to the Carbonio server. For that the command I am going to use is this one. But I am going to change the path tmp echo and i am telling it that as soon as the process is finished do this okay so and okay one major thing i didn't change that the mailbox the name of the mailbox is this one and also there are some other technicalities that i am not going into uh, for the sake of say saving time so let's say execute this one as i've executed if the process is finished it will echo or it will show that it is done so let's wait a bit as you can see it is done so the data is uploaded to the carbonio server now let's take a look at the Carbonio server. In the Carbonio server, right now there is nothing. Let's refresh it. And all you can see all the mails of Flammy from the, the Zimra server is here. It has the custom folders, pixel art. PC condition is not that good. It has 98% CPU, so things are very, very slow. And okay, Storty. Okay, you can see pixel art, Storty. They have uh, all the things and calendars, as you can see, all the calendar events that we created in the Zimbra has transferred here then go to the contacts there are the contacts so this is another method that we can we can follow to migrate data from zimra to carbonium but the fact is this is kind of a manual process we can automate some steps but it is mostly manual so definitely and and th this is definitely a good uh, migration method that we can provide to our customers so that's it this is what i wanted to show you guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much